we thank you for this morning. We thank you for our life. We thank you for waking us up once again. And your way stays that in you we live, in you we move, in you we have our being. This morning, once again, we draw out our being from you. We draw out our energy from you. We draw out our strength from you. We draw out every provision that we need for this day from you. And that is why we have gathered in fellowship to seek your faith. That, Lord, you will pour forth that which is needed into our lives. Have mercy upon us, O God. Deliver us from evil and forgive us our trespasses. We are asking, O God, that as we fellowship, you will reveal yourself to us. Indeed, your word says that, for we know not what to pray for as we ought, but the Spirit himself intercedes to us with groanings which cannot be expressed in words of understanding, in articulate speeches. We are asking that your Holy Spirit would come and lead us, O oh God, in our intercession. Will lead us, O oh God, in our supplications. Will lead us to pray aright. Would guard us and guide us into your presence, O oh God, that at the end of the day, we would say that it has been good. And we would say that it has been God. Let your name be praised, O oh God. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray with thanksgiving. Amen and amen. And brethren, this morning <coughs> would speak one of um, what I would say uh, as the, the common sounds that we do know. We will pray soon. And Psalm 23. Psalm 23, and we are acknowledging the Lord as our shepherd once again this morning as we pray. And he says that the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leads me or leadeth me beside the still waters. He restored my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemies. <clears throat> thou anointest my head with oil. My cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. And if David would write this, then obviously he didn't write these words from from nowhere. But these are words that will come from the depths of him, and these are words that would be inspired of God. These are words that he would have contemplated upon for a long time, <clears throat> because this is one who has walked through the ranks. This is one who has been in the in the in the wilderness, attending to the flock that his father had committed unto him. And this is the one who was even forgotten, forsaken, to the extent that when Samuel went to the house, being instructed of the Lord to go and anoint one of the sons as a king, the father absolutely forgot that there was a younger son somewhere in the wilderness. But David was there in, in, in fellowshipping with the Lord and experiencing the hand of God and 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 it was definitely not all rosy because lions and bears will be coming after him. 
And anyone would say that uh, if the Lord is with you, then there shouldn't be any attacks. If the Lord is with you, then lions shouldn't be coming at you. Bears shouldn't be coming at you. Snakes shouldn't be coming at you. If the Lord is with you, then you should be sheltered from or immune from every form of infiltration. But brethren, the Lord that was with him endued him with might and strength to the extent that he was able to go through, and that is what his mind was stayed upon, that the Lord is my shepherd, and I shall not want. In the area of need, the Lord is my shepherd. And so when a need arises, I turn unto him, and I present it unto him, and I draw out a provision from him, irrespective of the area of need. So you would want to turn unto the Lord this morning and, and every place where you have looked up to a man, every place where, where you have expected that this person will do this for me, that person will do this for me, or this person will be here for, will be there for me, and that person will be there for me, and, and, and you have looked up to man, and man have disappointed over and over again. You want to turn to the Lord and say, the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want, because he makes me to lie down in green pastures. He leads me unto the place of provision. He leads me unto the place of increase. He leads me unto the place of abundance. By his, by his manifold wisdom and blessing, he, he leads me into the path where there is green pastures. I am not a beggar. I am not a pushover. I am not one that is just hovering around and, 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 and does not have any means of this life that God has committed unto me. My shepherd, and I shall not walk. The Lord he is my shepherd, and you want, you want to de declare that. You want to speak. Speak that forth, and you want to pray forth, and say that, Lord, you are my shepherd. Makare lebrosia kalaba, rusuza kata, lepazo kata la majilia kalaba. Every area of need, O oh God, may you provide in our lives. Every area of need, may you provide in my life. Every area of need, may you provide in the church. In the name of Jesus. Makare lebrosia tolaba, rapaso kata le lebrosu kata la la majilia. In the name of Jesus, Father, Lord, we acknowledge you as a shepherd. We acknowledge you as a shepherd. We acknowledge you as 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 a leader. We acknowledge you as a master. We acknowledge you as a Lord. We acknowledge you as the one who who is in charge of our lives, who has a purpose for our lives, who has a plan for our lives, who has good will and good good intentions for. Our our lives and not just intentions but but provisions that have been made in store that, that we would be led into the destination that you have ordained uh, Lord we thank you that you are a shepherd of God and you are a shepherd that knows your sheep oh God uh, you are a shepherd that knows each and every one of us uh, you know our frailties oh God uh, you know our weakness O God, you know our strengths, O God, you know that that you know that which we are made of, O God. Rosso kaze katalia lele le brosi katalaba, rabazo katale le bazia kalaba. You know our limitations, O God, and you lead us into green pastures. That at the end of the day, you cause every one of your own to be fed. At the end of the, of the day, you cause every one of your own to receive a supply. That none of our own is abandoned in the name of Jesus. None of our own is forsaken in the name of Jesus. None of our own is deprived in the name of 
of Jesus. None of our own is without a shepherd in the name of Jesus. That we acknowledge that Jesus Christ, you are a good shepherd. You are the shepherd that calls your sheep by name. You are the shepherd that knows your sheep. You are the shepherd that gave down your life for the sheep. You have the shepherd that have obtained eternal redemption for us. You are a shepherd that have saved our souls from hell and perishing. You are the shepherd, oh God, that have created and bet forth a new spirit in us by which reason we have become again. You are the shepherd, O God, that in the soon and coming time, our bodies will be redeemed, O God. Our bodies will be restored, O God. That Lord, we would receive a regenerated body without weaknesses, O God. Because you are the shepherd that is leading us into the place of eternal life, into the place of abundance, into the place of satisfaction in, 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 in the soul and in the spirit. You are a shepherd that feeds us on a daily basis with the word of God, with the infallible word, with the word of faith that is able to give us an inheritance. In the name of Jesus. But then we have a shepherd uh, that is leading us unto the place of eternal life. Um, we have a shepherd that is leading us uh, unto the place where there is provision, uh, unto the place where there is green pastures for our souls, uh, unto the place where your soul will not be leaned, uh, your soul will be nourished uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, every spiritual feeding that we need, uh, we draw it out from our shepherd uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, every physical feeding that we need. We draw it out from our shepherd. In the name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you. The Lord is our shepherd, and he says, we shall not want. Brethren, we are not going to add anything to the provisions that the Lord gives unto us. <laughs> Having the Lord and Christ Jesus on our side, we need no other person. We need no other form of provision. Because he maketh us to lie down in green pastures, and he leads us beside the still waters. Every hunger and every test is quenched. And he causes us to lie down in this place of provision. He causes us to be at rest in this place of provision. He causes us to have peace in this place of provision. The sheep does not wake up in the morning and is thinking and is overwhelmed. That where am I going to get pasta? Where am I going to get water? Where am I going to get any kind of provision? But when the shepherd arises and comes and attends unto the flock. The shepherd looks beyond the horizon of the sheep and knows that there is green pasture in this place and knows that there is water in this place and knows that there is provision in this place and he begins to lead the sheep. This morning in a field of endeavors in the work of our hands we want to receive the leading of the shepherd. We want to receive the guidance of the shepherd. We want to receive the instructions of the shepherd uh, that Jesus will arise uh, in the place where Peter was fishing uh, and he would say that lay down your net for a drought uh, and the experienced fisherman would say uh, that I have fished all night and caught nothing uh, but nevertheless at your word I would lay down uh, that this morning uh, and 
the word of the shepherd, uh, someone will lay down his net. Uh, at the word of the shepherd, uh, someone will put in a phone call. Uh, at the word of the shepherd, uh, someone will prepare a CV. At the word of the shepherd, uh, someone will walk into an office with boldness and confidence. Uh, at the word of the shepherd, uh, someone will put together a business plan and ideas together. Uh, at the word of the shepherd, uh, someone will be ushered uh, into a place uh, of provision in the name of Jesus. Jesus, Rosto Kapaya Karele Bozika Tola Baya, Rabas Do Katalele Bazolia Kalaba, Rapasho Zekataya Kalaba, Rosto Katalaba, that every place of great pastors and provision and still waters that you lead us onto, Father, we align ourselves in the name of Jesus. We align ourselves in the name of Jesus. We do not trivialize the ideas that you give unto us. We do not trivialize the wisdom that you give unto us. We do not trivialize the provisions that you give unto us. We do not trivialize the small beginnings that you lead us unto. In the name of Jesus, we put our hands unto the plow. We put our hands unto that which you've committed unto us. In the name of Jesus. Rabba shoze katora la bayakaba. Rosso kalele bozika talalaba. Rabbo sheto katole le baya. Rabba so katalala masholia kalaba. So katalele brozi kalala baya, raba so katalala mashoze kataya, raba kayanda la ba. In the name of Jesus. But when he says he makes us to lie down in this place of green pastures. And many times there are agitations and we are not lying down, we are not at rest, we are not at peace. Uh. Many times we lie down and we are not able to sleep and we are thinking uh, and we are overwhelmed. Uh. But every spirit of depression, uh, we declare it subdued in the name of Jesus. Uh. Every spirit of anxiety, we declare it subdued in the name of Jesus. Every spirit of unrest, uh, we declare it subdued in the name of Jesus. That we lay hold uh, on the provisions of God. Uh, unto rest and unto peace uh, in the name of Jesus uh, that we lie down in this green pastures, uh, we lie down in this provision uh, we lay to rest uh, with assurance that the Lord is our provider and the Lord is our source uh, in the name of Jesus uh, anything that takes away our peace uh, we come against it in the name of Jesus uh, anything that takes away we are sanity. We come against it in the name of Jesus. Rabba soka la la ba zola la ma kala la ba. Rabba soka ta le pre soka ta la la ma zola ba. Rabba batole le bra zoka ta la la ba. Rabba miyata ka ta la ba. He said, "My peace do I give unto you, not as the world giveth." Lord, we lay hold upon your peace. We lay hold upon your peace. We lay hold upon your peace. Rabba soka la la ma shoze ka ta le le ba ya. Rosso Catole le base Catalian de Lebo, Rosso Ze Catale le Bayababa, Rabaso Catala la Majole le Balalaba, Rabaso Catala la Ba, let the agitations be seized in the name of Jesus, let the contentions be seized in the name of Jesus, in the Nabo Gele Bocole le Balalaba, Rabaso Mia Calaba, every place where you have to fight, where you have to struggle, where you have to be in a state of unrest. You have to be in a state of contending uh, with others uh, before you have your daily bread. Uh, this morning, receive the peace of God. Uh, receive the peace of God. Uh, receive the threatening of God. Uh, receive the supply of God. Uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, anyone who withholds uh, your wages from you, uh, receives uh, judgment. That that which is due you uh, will be released in the name of Jesus. Uh, every place where you have labored um, and you are being owed, uh, receive a release uh, that the hand of God uh, reaches out uh, in your favor in the name of Jesus. Uh, that the work of your hands it shall not be in vain in the name of Jesus.
Jesusa la pasto katala la majose katala la ba iba kore le majo katala la majosa kataya kalaba iba zo katala la majose katala la ba roso katala la majole le ba rapasto katala la majosi akalala ba rababa so katala la majose katala la ba rapasto kataya la prose kalala ba rabaso katala la majose kataya la ba rabakala la majo katala ba in the name of Jesus. Ready when the shepherd and the Lord is leading you, when Jesus Christ is leading you, every every spirit of confusion is cleared from your mind. Every spirit of doubt is cleared from your mind because you are rest assured that he leads me into green pastures. You are rest assured that when he says I should turn left, it is unto goodness. When he says I should turn right, it is unto blessing. And so we are praying the Lord. Every confusion and doubt in my mind will be cleared. He katala la makoneleba that I will yield unto your voice. I will yield to the voice of the shepherd. I will yield to the voice of the shepherd. That where the shepherd leads, I will go. Where the shepherd instructs, I will go. Where the shepherd calls, I will respond. In the name of Jesus, la kala la that we will respond to the call of the shepherd. We will respond to the voice of the shepherd. We will respond to the instructions of the shepherd. We will respond unto the directions of the shepherd. In the name of Jesus. That may we hear your voice, O oh God. May we perceive your voice aright, O oh God. And may we receive grace to be doers, O oh God, to be instructed aright. May we receive grace to be led. May we receive grace to be led of you. May we receive grace to be led of you. May we receive grace to be directed of you. In the name of Jesus. Rabu Seba Bakatala la Majole Leva, Rabakura la Majose Katale Leva, Rabasu Kataya la Balule Balalaba, Rusu Kataya la Basu Katala Lava, Rusule Leva, Labrazu Katalia Zukele Leva, Rusu Kazu Katale Lebasia Kalaba, Rababasu Katala la Majole Leva, Rusu Katala Lebrezolia Kalaba, Rabasu Katala la Majosia Kalaba, Rababasu Katala Lava, in the name of Jesus. Every spirit of confusion, he babasu katala la ba. We declare you removed, he babasu katala la masu kala la ba. Rusu katala la makule le ba la ba. Rababasu katala la ba. Every spirit of double-mindedness, we declare you removed. In the name of Jesus, that our eyes will be single and our eyes will be stayed on the Lord. In the name of Jesus, yes, Lord. Ema shurele brozi katali alaba, rosu talala mashole li bazu katai alaba. Every place where we've taken our eyes off the shepherd, for which reason we are thinking whilst we should be walking upon the waters. Lord, may you save us. Lord, may you hold up our hands. May you strengthen us, O God. As sons and daughters of the kingdom that have been redeemed by the blood of Jesus, that we would walk upon water, we would walk upon limitations, that Lord, we would defy, oh God, art, and arise into the place of portraying the goodness of God, portraying the signs and the wonders of God. May it be made manifest in our lives, in the name of Jesus, that we would be able ministers and custodians of the great treasures of the kingdom. Let your name be praised, O God. Father, as we go through the day, we declare that the day will yield unto us its goodness. We declare that the heavens will be opened over us. We declare that we will not go out there and toil all day and eat the bread of sorrow in the night. 
We declare that that will not be our portion in the name of Jesus. That we will ride upon our horses as princes and as kings and queens and servants of the Most High. And we would rule with a scepter of righteousness as the Lord leads us unto and ordains for our lives. Let your name be praised, O God, and be given all the glory. In Jesus' name, I pray with thanksgiving. Amen and amen.